Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday Recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a bit about my last week in games and well, for this week in EVE Online, I haven't played all that much EVE Online, mostly just doing some anomaly cleaning um, and I did do a trip again from uh, Amar Space to Galente Space as well, just to prepare everything but overall a pretty slow week for me in EVE Online, basically it's summertime, we are in maintenance mode and I'm eagerly awaiting news uh, when it comes to uh, what's this is actually planning to develop and to bring to the game uh, at this point so uh, I did uh, also do a quick trip to Jida um, I'm planning to buy a few curses there because they are so cheap at the moment tech 2 uh, ships are really crazy uh, and I'm definitely looking for some of those really cheap ones mostly those that I plan to have use for uh, so not necessarily as a trade to make a profit uh, at this point I'm definitely uh, buying in order to uh, just have them ready I also bought a couple of command ships so I'm ready uh, to go I would say uh, with some of those plans and uh, I managed to buy them so it's really very very cheap at the moment for take two ships there's a lot of pressure on the market I think we're way oversupplied and as a result all of my pretty aggressive really low uh, like just below a million above the highest uh, buy order for instance are triggering and and you're grabbing some really cheap stuff uh, look for those when you low points on the charts but overall in my opinion you are looking at some really cheap stuff including the Ishtar if you you know plan to make a couple of bases of operations I mean I, I think I've got half a dozen of them at this point but uh, uh, you can definitely grab some really cheap Ishtars they are super good super versatile for high seek exploration for instance so um, that's one thing that I'm doing uh, keeping up with PI as well we are definitely selling at the moment most of what we produce because prices are surprisingly good I'm really surprised that we are actually seeing very high prices for uh, coolants again making their way back towards 10k mechanical parts doing great so there's there's a lot of demand out there uh, I think it's not because of activity be but because the siege green update has basically uh, made it so that there's more uh, potential potentially large ships being uh, produced by larger groups and as a result they need more PI as well and uh, we are getting pretty damn good prices for those at the moment uh, BBC's they're still selling at pretty good prices including freighters freighters are doing exceptionally well at the moment huge margins on freighter BPC structures not that much and uh, now that I think about it in fact some of you guys mentioned it in the last Eve talk as well it's still hell out there for like solo players tiny groups that want to get a structure uh, up and running uh, war decks are just uh, too juicy the cores are very much an incentive uh, to start a war deck and as a result it's very difficult to uh, to get that going and that's also uh, having an impact on fuel prices ice product prices they're still extremely low very very cheap what I might want to start doing at this point is maybe start hoarding some of that stuff as well uh, just to be ready if there's like a cool option later down the line that needs fuel I would have my fuel ready definitely something to think about as well but at the moment during this summer for me personally it's all about buying uh, some really cheap stuff getting that ready uh, for potential future plans so not not so much as speculation or as a, as a trade where I want to make a profit on but more as I've got the ships I've got the stuff that I might want to use uh, later down the line and it's mostly uh, in Jida that I'm buying at the moment and so with a slow week in EVE Online, I started playing The Outer Worlds. That's uh, a game that was on my wishlist for a pretty long time, got amazing reviews. And uh, it was on sale during the uh, Steam Summer Sale, 70% off, bought for like 18 bucks. And so uh, I'm definitely uh, enjoying that game at this point. I feel like it's got a little bit of a mix between like Skyrim, Fallout and uh, those good games, those good Bethesda games. If I'm not mistaken, it's like Fallout devs or something like that that have built it, but uh, it's all in a a more uh, sci-fi-ish uh, storyline I would say and uh, so far only a couple of hours into the game and definitely playing on easy story mode so I'm not having too much trouble uh, with uh, like uh, spongy enemies or anything like that but it's definitely a lot of fun it's a cool world to explore and I personally absolutely love the companion system that they've got going there super intuitive you can get two uh, companions going with you you can give them armor you can give them weapons to test out uh, uh, so far the grenade launchers you know give that to your uh, to your companions uh, seems to be working quite uh, nicely and uh, then you get a really 
cool system that starts to be a little bit more complex when it comes to weapons and upgrades and things like that i still don't fully understand all of that stuff and then there's even more things as well with like um uh I think potion making sort of stuff that you can do uh, that that helps with healing gives you uh, bonus effects and things like that which I still haven't found out about any of that stuff uh, but uh, after playing for just a couple of hours things opened up quite substantially all of a sudden you get a lot of places that you can start to visit and uh, it just has a nice quest tracking system as well so you can decide what you want to focus on now go to the spot uh, blast around a little bit grab loot uh, try to upgrade your stuff and go back out there so so far the gaming loop uh, for me has been quite a lot of fun and it's pretty rewarding for the other world story is pretty cool as well uh, definitely have some hard choices that you gotta make there from time to time and um uh, yep, graphics, everything uh, working really well, no crashes, no technical problems or anything like that to report. That's of course one of the big advantages of buying a game like one, two years after it's come out, maybe even more for, for the other worlds. I think it's got like a whole period where it was an exclusive for the Epic Store or something like that. Not exactly sure what happened there, but it was on my radar for a long time. Wait for a great discount, 70% off, it was like, all right, we're just... Uh, gonna grab it and and start playing it i think getting 20 hours out of it is not gonna be any problem at all now that i got started and uh, that was my thinking there and so far it's definitely a lot of fun uh, i'm also making videos on the outer world at the moment so those will be coming out uh, start coming out uh, soon as well and uh, yeah having having a blast actually and uh, actually i stop uh, when uh, at, at a point where i'm hungry for more so uh, at this point the uh, the outer worlds is definitely uh, an enjoyable gaming experience for me personally it's single player it's a little bit more story driven it's like a, a fallout a, a skyrim uh, vibe a skyrim experience so definitely feel like i've l i've got lots more to discover lots of options uh, feel decently free to do whatever the hell i want and uh, those are pretty fun experiences for me personally so that's what i'm going to put a little bit of time in now looking forward to uh, the next expansion for path of exile which uh, they've announced that there's shooting for they're still not sure but they're shooting for august 12th so that gives me about a month to play uh, the other worlds and then in all likeliness next to keeping up with eve online and keeping up with uh, my preparations there we'll probably uh, look at the next leak for path of exile as well uh, which should be coming again mid-august something like that and yeah that was my last week in games guys thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time